this is a rough neighborhood. And it, it becomes a struggle for a lot of the kids. It becomes a struggle. There's a lot of angry people in the Bronx. When I'm with my friends, I always make sure we're looking around because you never know things happen. They're dealing with a difficult home situation because of drugs, because of alcohol, because of abuse, because of broken families. What they've internalized is that they're not good enough, they're not smart enough. They walk in the door feeling like they don't have a shot. You know, college, for most of the people here, that's their only out. And if they don't really seize that opportunity, it's possible bad things can happen. I was seeking tools to help students deal with the realities of their social emotional life, their mental, physical uh, changes as a teenager, and all of the demands that we were putting on them academically. And um, one of my teachers came to me and said, hey, there's this thing about teaching kids meditation. When I first heard about quiet time, I did not like it at all. But when I first tried it, it like it came so easy to me. All teenagers, when they come into school, first period, they do not want to do nothing. They just want to sleep. It does give you rest to regenerate like a battery. Before, I held everything in. And when I couldn't take it anymore, I took it out on somebody else. Now, it just goes away now. Even the teachers, when they do quiet time, they, they don't want to take things out on us for saying the wrong thing. It's like they're more calm also. I think the focus has definitely gone up. The students are way more in tune with what they have to do. People's grades are going up, their behavior's changing, and there's just a better atmosphere around the school because everybody seems a little bit happier. After the first meditation, I said I feel like a brand new person. I remember the beginning of freshman year. I used to do um, bad in school. I was getting grades 60s, 70s, probably 80s sometimes. And then I got into this meditation and like my grades went up to like to 80s and 90s. What starts to happen is students start to discover within themselves endless potential. When I do quiet time, I close my eyes and I feel like all the stress is just leaving my body, all the situation the problems are just clearing out. My friends were like, you're so calm now, like you're not stressed out about anything. I was like, yeah, it's this quiet time, it's so wonderful, like it was really, it really has helped me a lot. If you're going through problems at home or even problems within yourself, you know, a couple of my friends, they have suicidal thoughts sometimes. So any, any problem in general, it is worth it. I feel like it could save somebody's life. It could be the difference between that child getting into an altercation after school. It could save lives across the city. Now we're actually getting students to apply to top-tier colleges, making that dream a possibility. I always tell the students, when you see for yourself what I see for you, when you see in yourself what I see in you, then I'm doing my job. I believe that meditation is a tool that every single human being should have, just like we teach students math and science and social studies and English, and just like we mandate physical education, we need to teach students transcendental meditation. This is something that should be foundational in education.